And welcome back. Well, a rapid or a regular heartbeat, if left untreated, can cause blood clots, which may lead to a stroke or even worse. And joining us now to discuss atrial fibrillation is Dr. Ryan Cooley. He is an electrophysiologist with Aurora Cardiovascular Services. I don't know if mm -hmm. I can get any more big words into that <laughs> introduction. Nice to have you on the show Good today. Thank you. Good morning. I think this is an important um, thing to talk about in part because if people recognize the, the signs of this or they can identify it and, and the quicker they can do that the more likely the outcome is to be positive right correct that's absolutely correct uh, there are, are, are a lot of symptoms that can arise from atrial fibrillation people can have fatigue uh, shortness of breath chest pain palpitation which is a sensation that the heartbeat is is uh, uh, going on in the in the chest irregularly and, and beating fast and, and it is right it, it, it is, is beating fast or irregularly that's correct okay that's and a correct. lot of times you can feel that yeah absolutely and I think it's important to note that that men and women actually differ in how they manifest atrial fibrillation that women tend to be more symptomatic than men um, and they often endure these symptoms uh, uh, and they have a higher risk of stroke uh, than than their male counterparts and despite this um, Women are continue to be undertreated compared to compared to men. Mm -hmm. Is it because some of the the symptoms are so confusing? I mean, you might think you have um, uh, what's like heartburn, or you might just think that you know you you've had too much caffeine and you have a little flutter. Is is that the reason why so much of it is not at, why we don't go to a doctor to check it out? Yeah, I think that's part of it. Um, it, it can it can present in a a. Um, uh, a long line of symptoms. It can be completely asymptomatic or you can have really significant symptoms like you can all of a sudden suffer a stroke or you can develop heart failure. So it, it has such a broad range of presentation that it, it sometimes doesn't lead you to the doctor. Well and in 15 to 20 percent mm -hmm. of all strokes are attributed correct. to this. So That's I always wonder what causes it then? What, what are the causes of AFib? When, when the, it, the, it's, an, it's an upper chamber rhythm problem. So the upper chambers are not uh, contracting normally. Normally when you have a regular completely normal heartbeat they're contracting and blood is moving through uh, mm -hmm. normally. When the atria fibrillate, they're kind of squiggling and they're not contracting, the blood stagnates. And when blood stagnates, clots form and then the clots can break off. Is this something that's genetic or is it caused by lifestyle habits? Well, the, the causes of AFib can be divided into two categories. One is non-modifiable, which would be age and genetics. Okay. Those are things you can't do much about. Mm -hmm. Right and modifiable causes. Uh, so the modifiable causes are things like high blood pressure, sleep apnea, both of which have been linked to obesity, mm -hmm. alcohol and tobacco overuse, and chronic stress and the inflammation that follows. Um, it is really a, a disease that closely tracks inflammation and kind of wear and tear in the body. Mm -hmm. what is, are there some things you can do to prevent it? I mean, obviously you can make lifestyle changes like losing weight, um, drinking less, using less tobacco or eliminating it altogether. Are there other things you can do? Absolutely. It's a great question. I think prevention is really the key. And that means sleeping more, eating and drinking less, having better overall nutrition, smiling more. Hmm. Uh, and laughing. Laughing. Yeah. And, and moving a lot. Uh, it probably doesn't matter so much the type of exercise uh, that you engage in. Uh, although I'll mention that there was a recent study that showed that yoga activity actually woo, woo reduced yoga, uh, yoga mm. uh, reduced the incidence of atrial fibrillation. Do you think it's because of the, the, the physical um, attributes that you get from yoga or is it the de-stressing? Because stress seems like it's a big thing. Absolutely. It's probably multiple factors. Okay. It, it, it helps control other risk factors like the high blood pressure mm -hmm. and it helps manage weight. Uh, but yoga in particular is very relieving. It's, it's a stress reduction activity, and so it's probably a number of factors. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was just going to ask about treatment. Yeah. Well, people with <laughs> AFib after lifestyle change uh, really face some tough choices. Uh, uh, they can live with it. That doesn't seem so nice. They can take medications, or they can have something called ablation. Unfortunately, medications are not ideal. The default thinking that taking a pill is less risky than a procedure really doesn't apply to rhythm controlling medication. They do confer some real risk. Ablation, on the other hand, has shown a lot of promise. And that's not to say it's risk free. Um, it's a minimally invasive procedure that is designed to actually damage tissue that is causing AFib. Mm. And that can be accomplished through a technique called uh, cryoablation, which is freezing 
or burning, which is radio frequency. Okay. Um, it's a superior strategy, uh, both in terms of quality of life and in reducing stroke rates. And there's even data that it may actually lessen dementia. Mm -hmm. Those are all important reasons to consider Absolutely. it, I would think. Yeah, I think if you have any of the symptoms of you know, chest pain, confusion, dizziness, fatigue, palpitation, short of breath, swelling in the feet, any of those all could be symptoms of AFib. You should contact um, Aurora St. Luke's. You can meet with an AF expert. They're available at one of the many Aurora hospitals and clinics close to your home or work. You can call them toll free at 888 505-9323 to schedule an appointment or visit them online at aurora.org slash AFib as well. And that's where you can find Dr. Cooley too. Thanks for being here, Dr. We Thank you very it. much. Really nice to have you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.